transactions are recorded in the correct period. For most audits, the purchase cutoff line line up with the entity's physical inventory count. So we're going to basically line this up when we're going to do it with the physical inventory count. And that will typically happen somewhere close to basically the year end so that we can be so we can check that the physical inventory was on the books as we go out and check the physical inventory is indeed present at that point in time. Proper cutoff should also be determined for purchase return transactions. So we also want to consider the cutoff with regards to purchase returns. Next, we'll take a look at test of details transactions with regards to rights and obligations, the assertion of rights and obligations. The risk uh, is small related to this assertion because entities generally do not have an incentive to record liabilities do not, that are not obligations of the entity. So usually when we're considering the rights and obligations with regards to liabilities, again, the assertion uh, normally the company wouldn't try to look worse most of the time. And therefore, it's not an assertion that's as high of a priority with regards to liabilities typically. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at the assertion of accuracy, valuation, and allocation. Accounts payable should be recorded at either the gross amount of the invoice or net of the cash disbursement amount. Valuation of accruals depends on the type and nature of the accrued expenses. Most accruals are fairly easy to value. Next, we'll take a look at the assertion of classification, the primary issues with regards to classifications with the test of details of transactions are find and reclassify any material uh, debits contained in accounts payable. So we're going to go through the accounts payable, the detail of accounts payable. If there are debit balances in the accounts payable balances, then it shouldn't be the case that we should have a debit balance in accounts payable. Something kind of funny possibly happened at that point in time and we'd want to remove any debit balances in the accounts payable. Now there could